Rivalry games make college football fun. Trophy games are special. Ohio will play in a rivalry game for a trophy coming up on Saturday in Huntington, West Virginia. It's a 2-0 Bobcats and the 1-1 Marshall Thundering Herd. Hi everybody, I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Welcome to Bell Week. There are 73 trophy games in major college football. The Bell is the most prominent trophy of them all. There are more Bell games than anything else. Some teams play for a bucket or an axe or a cannon. But these two teams play for a bell. It was born back in 1997, even though the series started in the early 1900s. Marshall is 8-2 against Ohio in bell games. The bowl victory over the Cats a couple of years ago in Detroit did not count as a bell game. For the second time, Ohio will bring the bell with them down to Huntington. Of course, the bell is a nod to river commerce. You might have seen this bell on a boat or a barge. And of course, the river is very important to this region. The Bobcats are having a pretty important season and they'll take on a pretty good Marshall team coming up on Saturday. Here's a look at the herd. Marshall won two 1AA National Championships, five Mid-American Conference titles, and his seven bowl victories in their school history. The seventh win came last year. The herd beat Florida International in the Beef O'Brady's Bowl in Tampa to complete a 7-6 and six season. Doc Holliday is in his third year as Marshall's head coach. He's 13-14 and 14 in two-plus seasons. They're in the process of revving the program back up from the lull after legendary head coach Bob Pruitt retired in 2004. In week one, the Herd lost at West Virginia 69-34 in the Friends of Coal Bowl in Morgantown, and they won their home opener last week 52-24 over old Southern Conference rival Western Carolina. Marshall's offense ranks sixth in the nation in yards per game with 580, and their quarterback is a big reason why. Sophomore Rakeem Cato is fifth in the country in individual total offense and third in total passing yards. The 6'1 Miami native has thrown for 790 yards and five touchdowns. Three receivers have over 100 yards through two games. Aaron Dobson is their best. He's caught 13 passes for 153 yards and a score. The senior caught 12 touchdowns last year. Tommy Schuler has reeled in 11 passes for 126 yards and Antavius Wilson has nine grabs for 138 yards. The herd averages 158 yards per game on the ground. 5'10", 200-pound sophomore Trayvon Van has two of their four rushing scores. Defensively, the herd has allowed 495 yards per game in the first two weeks. They're 110th nationally in total defense. West Virginia torched them for 655 yards, over 300 on the ground and through the air. The 1AA Catamounts had 335 yards last week. From a wins and losses standpoint, Jones C. Edwards Stadium is a tough place to play for the visitors. It opened in 1991, and Marshall has only lost there 19 times. The game isn't on TV, but don't fear. The People's Bank Ohio IMG Sports Network is there for you over the air and online on OhioBobcats.com. Our pregame coverage starts at 5.30 with a kick at 6.30. If you're going to the game, you can listen to our call via our radio network station in Ironton, WOUL FM 89.1. All right, battle on for the bell. It's Ohio and Marshall. That's our opponent preview. For Sean Fisher, I'm Russ Eisenstein. This is Bobcat TV.